Okay, so we are entering the something hearts fireman and something event. Firemen and police supporting the firemen and police. So I'm going in to support the event and show that my kind is part of the community um, and can join these events. And this is the event right here. Uh, we got the firemen, we got the police. Now we're gonna just ignore, if they start harassing me, we're gonna ignore. Oh. And make sure that everything is being recorded. Um, so that I can show that, like usual, I'm the good guy. Um, okay. All of the first responders and also Bullet Hills Chamber for having us uh, here Okay, today. so I'm at so we the, have a health um, uh, the I don't know what you call it, the hearts, pace and all of the, the hearts, we whatever, need. the community hearts. So uh, the winner program. of the blood pressure monitor and, um, is Vivian Rudd in Glendale. This is the taco Vivian, booth over here, which won. I want to get food, but no, this this line <laughs> over here is super long, so Vivian, I, don't, come to the stage. I don't feel like um, Rudd, come to the stage. You won. waiting in this huge line. So, but I just kind of wanted to video the event, which, um, um, we got, we got another videographer here, uh, my, oh, excuse me, my camera's bigger than yours. <laughs> okay, so, um, so here's here's the event, the Grateful Hearts event. That's what we're at the police supporting the uh, supporting the police and firemen. The Grateful Hearts event. Uh, it's loud and lots of people and food. Uh, but I don't feel like waiting in the line for the tacos. Um, so just kind of um, uh, going to the booth, just kind of private, private supporting, private companies um, that are kind of supporting the police, which we're all supporting as a community, obviously. Um, so the Rotary District, um, yeah, the Gold Gold Place, um, you know, lots of police events, and um, the firemen, whatever, you know, you get the idea. Just it's kind of too loud to talk, so I'm just trying to talk about the event. Um, which is almost over, and I missed I missed the raffle, um, and we have a really cool like spaceman get up, but he's gone. I don't know where he went. Um, so this is the Grateful Hearts event. As you can see, the fire trucks and all that, right? The fire trucks, the fire station. Um, and um, here we are, just being part of the community and supporting the community. Oh, and I got this hat too. You like the hat? Um, so um, that's pretty much it. We got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm trying to talk Tell over this, this huge, this huge microphone, and um, right. So by the way, so we're on uh, Oxenard and Owens. 
Val between between Oxenard and um, Topanga. Now I really I really wanted to see who was in the dunk tank, but I don't know. I don't think they're even using it. Okay, so this is where I bought the hat. Um, this is this hat right here. Okay, well, you know what? Bought it at Gary Sinise. Um, so, um, just showing where I bought this hat over here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Huge round of applause! Yay. There we go! Okay. There we go! Well, once again, thank you guys so much for coming out. I do want to remind you that the silent auction is over, so if you think you may have won, please come claim your prizes. Silent auction. Please come claim your prizes and be prepared to make your payments. <laughs> Be Okay, so when I got here, um, everything at first, everyone was fairly professional and like usual, things started to progress um, and people started getting angrier and angrier, um, like usual with me not doing anything to anyone. Uh, first, everyone was very professional. Um, I bought a lot of, a lot of items, so I... I donated a lot, I gave a good amount of money, and um, the more things I bought, the more people started like getting angrier with little cryptic harassments, right? Then I noticed people had some cameras, and I said, hey, uh, because my plans have changed, because Brittany was supposed to come down, uh, I might as well document that I'm here and take a few pictures. Now, you're gonna say, so what? Who cares? People have cameras and they go to events and they take pictures. Well, people start getting angrier and angrier, which is the start of the problem. You're not allowed to have a camera back in 93 or something. So then the little cryptics appreciate it, have a good one, buds, all these things. Um, especially here at the place where I signed uh, some support waiver for something. Um, start coming out, right? So you're being really nice and you're not doing anything wrong and people are just starting to go ballistic on you. But yet I'm imagining it and no one knows me and it's just a few people around the neighborhood doing these things, but yet 90% um, of the booths that I went to um, after the first 15 minutes, after the first 15 minutes, you noticed um, kind of like an aggression, getting angrier and angrier, and you're just like, like usual, who are these people, why are they attacking me, right? And it's always some kind of cover up, oh, I'm the bad guy and I'm doing this to cover up what they're doing in worldwide groups. Um, so here are some of the fire trucks. And uh, this is the event that's just ending right now. Um, I did see Dincy. I was call, making a call to Brittany on the phone. I look up, I see Dincy. And um, there he is. Of course, didn't talk to him, didn't approach him. That's stupid. Um, had his coworker take my picture. Um, and this and that. Um, of course, nobody's mad at the other people with the cameras. Uh, just me for documenting the event. Now, I also, to show that I'm not a nut job, like the people coming after me, I let some of the firemen and police officers 
take my picture. Oh yeah, and and I think here's the here's the irony. I was joking. I'm like, wow. Um, people really. That's right. The the thing that people really got mad about is I bought this hat. I bought this hat here at the fundraising event, the police and firemen's fundraising event that they are selling, and then everyone started getting mad that I put on the hat. So you're gonna say, well, Kevin, who would care that you're wearing a hat or a camouflage hat because nobody cares about these things and you have no excuse because you sold it to me, right? So they're mad about the hat that they themselves sold me. Well, if it's a crime to wear this hat and it's doing things to people, why did they sell me it, right? It's their own hat. So the point is, it's all personal, um, your kind can't exist, and we're gonna go ballistic on you and then make it look like you did something to us. Now they're gonna say, well, Kevin, you you think you're the military because you're wearing this hat. Well, if I think I'm the military and I'm wearing this hat, why did they sell it to me, right? You sold me the hat, or they sold me the hat, so why would they get mad at me for wearing their hat? the hat they sold me, right? Uh, you get the idea. So the event progressed in a negative way by simply buying an inanimate object that they sold me, right? You get the idea? They sold me the object and now they're mad at me for, for wearing what they sold me and everyone's attitude and personality shifted because I bought a hat at their own event that they sold me and they're mad at me. Um, so what is the reasoning? Or I should say, if they're, if they're behaving this way, if they're behaving like this, by me buying one of their own products or one of the products, one of the booths that they themselves have, then you can't get a fair chance in life because they're gonna go ballistic on you for anything, blinking, farting, yawning, or anything else. And is it really about a hat? No, it's about someone that wants you dead and gone and they're riling the masses against you. Um, showing that it's not about anything I've ever done, it's about a strategic operation. Because if you're selling the hats, and then you say it's a crime to wear the hat, which we all know it isn't, um, you get the idea, right? Okay, so I'm trying to just figure out if I have any last thoughts before I leave. Um, I think I might have mentioned it. I saw Dincy. Dincy was here. Um, didn't make any contact, of course. Um, and didn't really look his direction, but kind of like his friend helped take a picture of me by one of the armed security cars or whatever. Um, and... Um, so he saw I was there, but I'm pissed because I was supposed to be with, here with Brittany, which would show that I'm not some antisocial, um, phobic or whatever that he's trying to make me out to be, right? Some re recluse, um, antisocial sociopath that he's trying to make me out to be um, to get what he wants in his illegal operations would have really solidified if I was with Brittany at the event and of course she could witness all the other things going on and I could have explained it to her um, while it was going on and that was the entire purpose her witnessing what was going on in case anything happened and if I were to put a number on the amount of things that went on I would say about eight booths harassed me in their cryptic um, cryptic, repetitious messages like, buddy, alrighty, hey, 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 whatever, things like that, that are mimics 
trying to provoke me into a situation and she could have witnessed that which was the entire point um, but I guess she says she has to pick up her kid and I'm just totally pissed off about that because this is a one-time event and on the 23rd they're threatening to lock me away for something up to like seven years or something in jail you know it's most it's most likely scare tactics but if it's not then um, this was the one event she should have been at and she wasn't and I'm totally pissed off about that because um, I went down here I was friendly as can be I gave a lot of money to the donation um, and I was harassed, let's say, by seven booths, and they really started getting nasty after this hat, which I bought here, like I just said, um, showing that no matter how nice I am, they're gonna go ballistic on me, and remember, this starts at five years old, no matter how nice I am, we want to rid Kevin of the world, and Kevin's kind can't exist. So obviously, the longer I was there, and I was only there for about 40 minutes, uh, but the longer I was there, like you, and this happens everywhere, the angrier and angrier the people around the booths get for me not doing anything wrong. Um, and so, um, that's pretty much it. It was, it was not much complex happened, except um, the same thing that happens everywhere and me being the target. Um, the police booth, she was very nice at the police booth. Um, the guy, the police officer that took my picture, he called me sir and was professional and nice. Um, the more, more the private booths, the, the booths, the private company booths, they, they were really the ones that were getting angrier and angrier and more aggressive. Um, and, um, so the police weren't. The police know that I know what's going on, even though they don't want to admit to it. They want to cover it all up. Um, except Dincy, which is why I stayed away from Dincy. But he did see me. And um, that's pretty much it. So simple. Nothing crazy happened, but the constant psychological warfare mimic tactics alrighty alrighty hey 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 blah 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 and as they're getting closer to the ending um, they were sort of ramping up their aggression the private booths 